Hey guys, welcome back to part two. We're on level three one, the Prison of Hope, Tower of Latria. Right, as you remember on the last part, we did die in body form, so we are now in soul form. We should have the Cling Ring and the Thief Ring, Scimitar Catalyst. We've got a Buckler in the left hand. We should have a Flame Toss Magic. And we need to be very careful here, guys. The Thief Ring should make it harder for you to be detected, but these enemies here, they can kill you very, very fast. There's my soul set from before. There it is. You can run past these if you know what you're doing, but I just choose to kill them here uh, just because it's easier to uh, manage with them dead. So take three flame tosses to kill. If you kill them from distance, you're going to grab this renowned warrior soul in this corner and a third floor cell key. Now these enemies, I do loot them because they always drop a spice. If they drop something, normally an aged or a fresh spice, so I always loot them. Down here, we've got another renowned warrior soul. Yeah, this bit can be, this level can be quite confusing at first, so just try and follow my lead. Now be careful here, there's another one of them strong enemies behind here. If they, yeah, just be careful you get out of the way quickly if they do fire at you or you move back out of range. There we go, got him. Now we continue up here. Oh shit, another one, forgot about him. Yeah, they're pretty weird, <laughs> they're weird looking things. Okay. Whoa, locked onto the wrong enemy. Okay. He's pissing me off. What is going on here with my lock on? Okay. That enemy has messed up my lock on, so I'm going to get... He doesn't actually damage you, so that's why I wasn't attacking him. But he was messing my lock on. Right, we've got it. So, we've killed three of them so far. Three of them. And we won this the third floor key. Not a cell key. Cell key, we just got that earlier. Third floor key. And here it's a renowned warrior soul, another one which we want. Uh, we're just going to head back on ourselves now. You could jump down here and get back quicker, but we want to keep them souls we've collected because there's actually an NPC in this level, a merchant, and she's the cheapest one in the game for selling fresh spice. Um, fresh spice, basically, I actually need to slot some, actually. I'm going to use the aged spice first. Yeah, the fresh spice is actually like it refills your MP. Like so. And MP, basically you can get, you know, you've got your spells that damage enemies, you can heal yourself with it, you can cast like a sort of stealth cloak. And all you need is to buy these fresh bises and you can refill it. So, mages are really overpowered in this game. So through here, we've unlocked that door now, now that we've got the key. And up here. You can just run straight through this bit, um, but almost forgot through this into the, in this cell here. Um, this first sort of um, booby-trapped sort of thing. There's a stone in there, so you can open it. Don't open all of them. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you need to be careful because sometimes when you open certain ones, there's an enemy in, uh, who's alive, and he will poison you as soon as you open it. So just be wary of that. So we're running all the way around here. And there's one of them enemies in here. The magic enemy, there it is. Just be careful. Once you get her going, your flame toss will sort of stun her. As long as it's not sort of doing an attack at the same time. And here you want the fourth floor set of keys off the wall. And then we can head back through here now that we can unlock the door. You don't need anything else in here. You can have a look around if you want, but like I said, nothing really of importance. I'm telling you about a thing important. And we're going to open this gate now. Just be careful, there's another one of them enemies in here. So just have a look out first. Make sure it's not too close. The reason we can get so close before they sort of notice you is because of the thief ring we're using. And behind these coffins, fresh buys times three. And there should be another one of them enemies through here when we unlock this gate. So be careful. It, it'll be just on your left. Just on your left. So sort of be careful. Oh, there it is. Just coming up now. 
And kill it when it appears. Oh, missed. There we go. Nice and easy. Come down here and grab this renowned hero soul. I think it is. Yes. And we're going to come through here. And here she is, the former noble's wife. Right, before we talk to her, we want to use all the souls we have. Even the lead demon soul. The lead demon soul, it is a boss soul. But you, you don't actually craft any magic with it or miracles. You can only use it to craft a weapon. But it's a really bad weapon uh, for this build. So... I'm going to uh, consume it to get about one and a half thousand souls from it. You can save it if you want, but it just allow you to buy more magic from this lady. And you can come back into this level at any time, sprint to this um, NPC and buy fresh spice. And basically, I should get 47. Yes, I always get 47. We bought 47 of them, so we should always be able to refill our magic. Well, I'm going to quick start them. There we go. Right, we're going to grab that. She dropped something for me, some more fresh buys. Just be careful you don't... There's sometimes little breaks in the fence here. Careful you don't run out and die. Uh, open here first. And open this sort of maiden. I think it's... You call it a maiden or something. Open that one and you'll get the ring of magical sharpness. Iron maiden, yeah, I think they call it. And then you want to come in here. And... The ring we want to equip is we want to change the thief ring now for the ring of magical sharpness. So you've got a clean ring and the ring of mag magical sharpness equipped. Drop down here. Over here and grab the aged spice times one. And then come down the middle. I need to refill my MP. Yeah, come down here. Open this gate. And just on the right here, you've got some more keys. The first floor set of keys there. We'll open this gate. Now, in in this level, you can unlock a, um, a merchant. But I actually come back and unlock him a bit later. Yeah, it's not actually... We don't actually need to unlock him so soon. So I actually come back and unlock him later. So don't worry... I know what I'm doing. If if you know sort of what they, if you have a bit of knowledge on the game and you're wondering why I don't come back and free him in this part, there is a reason to it, and it should become clear on the next, well probably the next part or so. So coming up here now and get out of my way. I'm going to loot these two corpses for the silver bracelet and the kite shield. Yeah, don't worry about that flute set. We just wanted the kite shield. So silver bracelets. I'm going to equip them now on my female. They they give you more souls. That's the item that gives you more souls. And a male can't equip it. And we also want to equip the kite shield. So we should have the buckler and the kite shield equipped. The kite shield, you don't have the right stats to use it effectively yet. But you have enough in order to be able to block 100% with it. Now, be careful of this enemy. He's going to be shooting magic at you. Basically, wait, wait. You're going to wait for him to shoot magic. And we're running up here. And I keep looking at him because otherwise he can catch you with magic when you're running away from behind. So I always just keep my camera on him as I come out here. There we go. And this spot here, there's a trophy, but these arrows can kill you one hit. You basically have to get through this volley of arrows without dying. Um, like I say, you can just quickly hold the PS button, close the game if you do die, and quickly load it back up, and you spawn back here. As long as you've opened the inventory and made it auto safe. Um, but you just got to get used to the timing, guys. There we go. You just got to get used to the timing. Once you're here, you're safe. So, yeah, that may take you a few attempts, guys. You just got to get used to the timing. So, like I say, you can either back up your safe there or just hold the PS button and quickly close the game if you die. And you spawn back at the point where you last open your inventory or picked up an item. Right, we want to loot all these items here. Right, another renowned warrior soul there. We've got a stone here. And here we've got the warden's key. 
Right, once we're ready, we're going to head back towards the um, statue now. We're shooting out the arrows. And you can't see it yet, but it's actually Black Phantom up there. I think it's got, they've got the thief ring. That's why you can't see them. Um, but we actually want to swap the cling ring now for the clever rat's ring. So these are the rings you should have equipped. Now just be very careful because you can die really easy here. Basically you want to have your shield up, the buckler, and you want to take damage, get close enough and she'll appear. Yeah, take damage until you get like a rat's, a, an icon of a rat appear just below your stamina bar. You can do a bit of damage to this black phantom in the meantime. So just take a bit of damage. If you, if you shield with your buckler, it doesn't block 100%, so you actually take a bit of the damage from it. And that's the best way. Let this Black Phantom get far enough away and she'll start shooting bolts at you. So just take a bit of damage until you get a little rat's icon. There we go. And you'll do a lot more damage now as you can see. I was doing 150 before but now I'm doing 153. And then we just want to kill her now. Just be careful. Once you've got the rat icon, you, you can actually switch to your kite shield so you block 100% of damage. So if she does catch you, you'll block all of it. And then loot her once you've killed her. And then once you've done that, we need to head up here. You're going to head all the way up here. You must come up here. If you don't, there's a there's an enemy along here. And if you don't kill him, then the boss will just keep resurrecting after you've killed her. You'll kill her and then you'll get thrown out of the area. And then you have to kill her again. She basically just keeps resurrecting. So you have to kill this enemy up here. Yeah, just pass that door. There he is, doing some hocus pocus there and we want to grab this special key behind him because we'll need it later to free one of the key magic NPCs. Right, we're going to head all the way back down now. You can take, there is a little shortcut here just on the right and it's railing but, but it will damage you a bit when you drop down. There's yes, a little shortcut here, it will damage you a bit and because we're under 30% health in order to get a bonus from the ring it will damage us a bit and depending how low your health is it may kill you so just keep it safe i just come down here instead i just come down this way takes a little bit longer we don't have to worry about full damage yeah basically we're we're under 30 percent health because the rats i'll just show you here so this ring your attack power increases when your HP is 30% or lower and this one raises your magic power but lowers your magic defense. Now this ring is actually very good. There's actually two items in the game that raise your power when you're under 30% and they actually sort of stack off each other. I'm not sure the exact formula but say for example one will increase your health by 50% you get another one and that will increase that total by another 50% so they all sort of multiply with each other so they're actually really well. And later on you'll be doing tons of damage. But the bad thing is it means you can die really quick. But it's not some it shouldn't be too bad. So this is a boss fight. If you're worried about this boss fight, guys, make a backup. Like I say, you can always hold the PS button and just close the app quickly. But we need to when we attack this boss, some clones will appear and we have to actually kill a boss without damaging any of the clones for a trophy. And you know which are the clones because they have a health bar above their heads, but the main boss will have no health bar because it's at the bottom of the screen. So that's how you find out. But first of all, we want to kill all these sort of enemies. So I'm just going to grab this aged spice from here first. And then we're going to apply pine resin, which we have from earlier to my scimitar, because then we can hit kill all these in one hit. 
Just don't get too close to the boss. You can see her. She's that lady up there at the front of the altar. And we want to break all these chests because otherwise they're going to get in the way of your magic when you're casting it. Yeah, so break all these chests because normally one of them will spawn here and your flame toss will normally hit one of the chests. And we've got flame toss by the way because the boss takes more damage to fire. Kill him. Break these chests. Kill this dude. Grab the story. Warrior soul. And now do not go near the sort of first row of sort of six chairs we want to kill these with magic now yeah because she's going to start casting her own magic in a minute there we go yeah we're going to try and kill these and then this one here just be careful because she is going to be casting magic at you right this in between the magic there will be a little delay right I'm going to run up to her now you can normally get three spells in before she teleports. So you can get three spells in before she teleports. Right, you need to watch out for when she spawns now. And you need to quickly find out which one doesn't have a health bar. Yeah, which one doesn't have a health bar. Just be careful of their magic. They'll be firing soul arrows at you. And just make sure you don't fire when the enemy's about to fire. But once you hit her once, the rest of the enemies will stop firing. And you'll be able to fire three before she teleports. Oh, that's lucky. She's right next to me. And that's it. So, it should only take three teleports. You know, with these items we've got. And like I say, it may take a bit, it may take a bit of practice. You know, just if you're new to the game. Just getting used to when to dodge and that the timing. But, you, you do do quite a lot of damage to her. So, it's not too bad. And then once you get here, you can grab this baby's nail if you want. It's not important. But if that's how you grab it, you have to come around the outside. And then come to the altar in the middle and you'll get teleported to the next area automatically. And you can't actually get back down there without warping to the first archstone of this world. Once you appear, just enter out of this archstone and then we're going to die. Yes, we're going to die in 3-2. We're in body form. We want to make sure we die here because we're trying to bring our world tendency down for later. Uh, once you have died, just make sure you get your souls back. There we go. Yeah, make sure you get them back. And we're going to warp to the Nexus now. So we've died in 3 2. We've got our souls back. And now we're going to warp to the Nexus. Once you've done that, once you've warped to the Nexus, you're going to come over here and you want to swap your magic back to the Soul Arrow. Because it's easier for this next boss. So unattune the Flame Toss. A tune your soul arrow ready for the next boss and then come over here we'll come over to the um, maiden again and we'll level, do a bit of leveling six soul power and she's going to level up our magic now as much as we can uh, level 27 we've got and we're level we're soul level 15 so that's what we've leveled up to now guys magic 27 and soul level 15 once you've done that, come over to Stockpile Thomas. Just get rid of some of our gear that we don't need. We can get rid of the full moon grass. They actually weigh quite a bit. We can use them for later if you need to. Get rid of the baby's nail. Keep both the shields. You need them. Get rid of the fluted armor set. And we actually want to keep the thief ring and the cling ring. Because we're going to need it for this level, this area. So yeah, keep them two on you guys, the thief ring and the cling ring. And let's -a go. We're going to uh, one two the Lord's Path now. One two the Lord's Path. And we're just going to do one two and then that will be it for this part. So for this one, you actually want to unequip the Clever Rat's ring now. And you want to equip the cling ring. You can keep the ring of magical sharpness equipped. You can keep that equipped. Um, I actually haven't got full health because I actually equipped the the cling ring after. So I'm actually just going to... Oh no, controller low. Yeah, I'm actually just going to teleport. Right. 
Right, let's go. Yeah, you want to keep your kite shield out. We're not trying, this bit here, we're not trying to get reduced health. So you want to try and keep max health if we can. Because you can die really easy here and you will take you will take a bit of damage here. Nothing you can do. Well, if you're good you won't. But if you're new to the game, you're going to take a bit of damage. Um, this boss on this, we have to kill it without killing any of the archers around him. And that could be a pain in the ass. We're just going to wait here for a dragon basically. We're at, wait to the left of these burning bodies. We're just before them. There we go. Once this dragon comes through, breathe of fire, quickly run through behind him. Don't collect any of these items. You won't have time. You only have time to collect one item. And we're going to get this one here. The Moongrass time 3. You can just get through like that. Come over here. Grab this Moongrass times 3. And then we want to wait near here. Oh, I broke it. Sorry. <laughs> when he breathes fire again, run straight through after him. Keep going. Be quick. She's going to come back a minute for another lap. Once you're here, you're safe. Grab the Moongrass times 2 there. And now we need to kill these bowmen. This way you need your shield. Yeah, just be careful. If you just strafe left and right, left and right. Yeah, the bows will normally miss you. There we go. Once you've got them both, you can just heal up. Make sure you're at full health almost. Then come through his fog gate. Kill his first enemy. Otherwise, he's going to get in your way. There we go. And wait here for the dragon to come back. There we go, and run straight through after him, be quick. The burning carcasses will normally indicate where it begins. And here is a stone, quickly grab that stone, very important. No! What the hell? <laughs> they quickly come up here. I need to heal quickly. We're safe now, but we need to kill these bowmen. Remember, you can use... Oh, get your shield out. I'm staying behind here because I don't want to alert the blue eyed knight which is just over there there we go, once you've got the bowmen you can pop out and kill these knights now we'll get this one first oh that's nice and easy and then there's one more up there you can run you can run past these if you begin though it's just easier to try and get rid of them out of the way because dodging them can be quite difficult there we go, once you've got them both we're going to come over here and we're going to make sure we've got full health Make sure we've got full magic, almost, and we're good to go. Make sure you've got your shield out. You want to make sure you've got a healing item slotted. I think I've only got one, um, oh no, I've got ten. Just quickly turn right, follow the wall around, and we want to come over here, basically, lock onto the knight's head, and keep on these stairs. Ouch. And... Okay, it's not even hitting him. Yeah, keep on these stairs, but keep strafing left and right, and the bows, most of the bolts should miss you. Yeah, you basically need to try and hit him in his head. What will happen, when he, when you're on these stairs, he always does his magic attack almost. But if you move down the stairs, when he's about to cast it, it'll always go over your head like that. He's got to make sure you hit him in his head, otherwise it don't do any damage. So as you come down, you need to move to the right slightly. But yeah, it keeps missing him. You have to move to the right slightly, just so you um, avoid his hand. Yeah, be careful if he gets too close. There we go. Yeah, once you get into the rhythm, you'll, you'll get it. Once you get into the rhythm of it. I think my timing's a bit off. Yeah, if he gets too far away, you won't be able to lock onto him. And if you hit his feet, it won't do as much damage. So you can sort of you can sort of hit his hand. It just depends how you hit it. Yeah, this is what I mean. You got to be really careful of them bolts. Yeah, heal up if you need to. Yeah, if you move to the left, you seem to always hit his hand in a place where it will do damage. There you go. And you'll, you'll get used to the timing. You have to time it so you just... As he reveals himself from under a sealed... Okay, locked on his feet again. 
Yeah, as he reveals his body, your soul arrow will fire. Okay, almost got him. Two more hits, I think. On the original, you would kill the bowman first, but because there's a trophy connected um, for killing him without touching his bowman, we have to kill it. We have to kill him without touching them. Okay. And we got him. Just be careful because even when you kill him, the bolts will still keep coming. There we go. Yeah, they'll still keep coming. So just be careful, guys. Yes, once you killed him, yeah, you get him two trophies, one shell full, and then interact with this archstone, and warp back to the nexus. Warp back to the nexus, and what we're going to be leveling now, guys. This will be the end of this part in a minute. I'll just do my little clear up in the nexus first. Um, where's the maiden? Where's she hiding? Oh, there she is. Yeah, so what we're going to level up now, guys, we're going to level up Intelligence to 14 so that we get another slot of Magic Memory. Yeah, it's very important. We want that to 14. Then we want Magic to 31. Oh, not quite got there. We're on 30, but that's good enough. Yes, you want Intelligence on 14, guys, and you want Magic on 30. Magic on 30. Right, once you've done that, you can confirm. Yeah, you need to make sure you got at least 500 spare anyway because you need to buy a spell now from um, Frake's Apprentice. We want to actually buy Cloak from him and we want to attune Flame Toss and Cloak. Yes, you want them attuned. The rings you want, you want to change your rings. So you want the Clever Rats ring again and the Ring of Magical Sharpness. And we're good to go. We'll go back to Stockpile Thomas. There's not really anything we need to put away, but well, we can put the cling ring away now and the thief ring. We don't actually need them no more. Yeah, nothing to put away. And our death, we're actually going to die in 3-1. Yeah, we're going to die in 3-1 now. Uh, sorry, not 3-1, 3-2. We're going to die in 3-2. So we die in 3-2. And then what we'll be doing on the next part, we'll probably die in 3-2, two, two or three more times, and that should make the Black Phantom appear ready to do the next bit, the next part. And what you'll find, a will tendency doesn't actually update until you actually warp. A death doesn't update it, but a warp does. You should see it sort of getting almost, it's sort of going black a little bit, black a little bit. But, but that's it guys for part two, that's it. I'll see you again on part three.